fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was intended for just as it was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, ah? Huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and now we have salty bread as, and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea. But then what, I ask? We have built a few huts from the washed-up timbers. Ah, poor sweet Desus Flavian. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no sign of Bobbery and the others. And my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, she must continue to hope that they are still alive somewhere. Three days on the island now. And the huts are all finished. We have covered life out here. Though we all dream of return to Roadport. All right, we're here in Kiyoki. Oi, Captain Stash! Captain Stash! You gotta be kidding me! It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. So, Miss Mouse is stuck on a desert, at a deserted island with us. How very nice. But you know, I think we've come far in one episode. All right. So I think next time on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, we're going to explore this island and go check out our hut. All right. So, see you guys then. But first. Remember this dude from Paper Mario 1? It's Wacka, and you can still whack him and get a bump from him. I believe that you can do this seven times in the game before he goes away forever. So, yeah. Alright, now I will see you guys later.